Hello YouTubers, it's Dansky and in this tutorial we're going to be learning how you can take your finished logo design and transform it into a sketched concept effect. So effectively we're going to be working backwards and turning our finished design into like a rough sketch that we've created using pencils and pens and what have you. So as you can see here on screen we've got the recently redesigned Dansky logo in all its glory, all its color, the finished version. So what we're going to do is we need to simplify this first. So what we're going to do is select the logo and we're just going to make it black. Just give it a solid fill and then I'm going to swap into preview mode. So that's Command Y on the Mac, Control Y on the PC. And with the direct selection tool we're just going to go in and simplify some of these elements. So I've selected this circle here I'm just going to hit backspace or delete. These circles are part of the rainbow gradient effect, so they're not actual physical shapes, but they are part of the shadow that make up the final design. So we just need to simplify all of this. So we're just going to simplify these, remove those as well. And then let's come out of preview mode, select the whole logo, and then we have our fill, which is black here. Let's just swap the fill and the stroke. And we should have something that looks like that. Now at the moment that looks like a super clean line drawing that's been done with a fine liner or a pen. So we're going to roughen this up a little bit, give it a bit more of a kind of a pencil feel. So let's select this, go over to the stroke palette and we'll increase the weight of the stroke a tad. Then go to the brushes palette over here. If you haven't got a brushes palette, go up to window and down to brushes here and it will add it on the right hand side. Now you've got some here that are the default brushes but they are very limited so if you click this little menu icon in the top right go to open brush library down to artistic and we're going to select chalk charcoal pencil. Now feel free to experiment with a whole range of these different brushes but you can click this one and we're just going to expand this menu and then you've got these arrows at the bottom so you can navigate through all the different ones so don't feel limited to to one of these there is plenty to experiment with here trust me so we've got our shape selected we've got our stroke selected so let's pick one of these brushes so something like this so it's not too crazy you can see some of them here can get they could become a lot thicker and thinner in places, but this one is quite subtle. So I'm going to pick this, increase the weight a little bit, maybe half of that. So let's make the weight of the stroke 1.5. And then what we can do is actually drop the opacity of this. So I'm going to select the transparency palette and bring the opacity down. So this is going to be the, the soft pencil. You know, like when you're when you're sketching out a logo, you might sketch it once first, very light in pencil, and then once you've got a design that you're happy with, you might go over it again a little bit firmer, so the lines will appear a bit darker. So this is that initial pencil sketch. So great, I'm happy with that one. Now I'm going to select this, go to Edit, Copy, Edit, Paste in Place, bring the opacity up a little bit more. So this is the version where I'm going over it for a second time. I'm going to decrease the width of the stroke down to one and I'm actually going to rotate this slightly, very slightly. And then just select everything and then just rotate it back a little bit just to straighten it back up. Now the reason I've rotated one of these slightly off is because it just helps that original pencil effect that was very rough, very sketchy, just feel a bit more realistic. You know, when you do a sketch and you do your initial sketch and then you go over it a little bit firmer, possibly with a different pen or a different pencil, you don't always draw exactly over the lines because you're conceptualizing it's very rough, it's very sketchy, so it's not perfect at this stage. So adding that rotation of a second version that is a lot lighter, just throwing it off a bit, just makes it look a bit more believable. 
And of course, you can select the whole thing at the end and you can group these together if you like by going up to object and group. And then you can adjust the opacity of that group a bit more if you like, and you can make it as faint or as pronounced as you like. And there we go. We've taken a finished vector logo, worked backwards and turned it into a sketched concept all within Adobe Illustrator. As always guys, please feel free to leave any questions or comments below. Like this video if you enjoyed it. Take care and I'll see you next time.